Hello and welcome to To the Point series of Drishti IAS. Let's talk about climate pledges. Why is it in the news? Because recently the Union Cabinet approved India's revised climate pledge, nationally determined contribution to the Paris Agreement. India's intended nationally determined contributions go like In 2015, more than 200 countries pledged to work together to cut greenhouse gas emissions and slow climate change, the Paris Agreement. The accord aims to keep global warming far below 2 degrees Celsius, preferably 1.5 degrees Celsius when compared to pre-industrial levels. Countries have agreed to publicly outline their intended nationally determined contributions for post-2020 climate action to meet Paris Agreement targets. INDC is a non-binding national plan highlighting climate change mitigation. It includes climate-related targets for greenhouse gas emission reductions. In 2015, India submitted its intended nationally determined contributions to the UNFCCC. At the Glasgow meeting last year, the Prime Minister of India promised to strengthen India's climate commitments. Prime Minister made five promises and called it the Panchamrit, the nectar that Indians prepare using five ingredients. Two of these were upward revisions of existing targets. Now, let's look at the revised INDCs. India will now reduce its emissions intensity by at least 45% instead of just 33 to 35% from 2005 levels by the year 2030. It would now ensure that at least 50% of its total electricity generation, not just 40%, would come from renewable sources by 2030. An increase in forest cover to create an additional carbon sink of 2.5 to 3 billion tons of carbon dioxide equivalent the forestry target has not been touched apart from above the other targets include india will increase its non fossil fuel energy capacity to 500 gigawatts by the year 2030 the total projected carbon emissions will be reduced by 1 billion tons from now through 2030 These two promises have not been converted into official targets. Now, let's gauge India's progress. India is on its way to achieve its existing targets well ahead of the 2030 timeline. India's emissions intensity was 24% lower than the 2005 levels in the year 2016 itself, the last year for which official numbers are available. It is very likely that the 33 to 35% reduction target has already been achieved or is very close to being achieved a further reduction of 10 to 12% from here to meet the new target does not appear too challenging the other target having at least 40% of electricity coming from non fossil fuels has officially been reached according to the latest data from the power ministry 41.5% of India's current installed electricity capacity of 403 gigawatt is now powered by non-fossil fuels. Renewables that is wind, solar and others alone account for more than 28% of this capacity while hydropower contributes over 11%. Now, let's solve the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding intended nationally determined contributions. India will reduce its emission intensity by at least 33% from 2005 levels by 2030. It would now ensure that at least 40% of its total electricity generation would come from renewable sources by 2030. Which of the statements mentioned above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Thank you so much for watching. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Drishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.